all right guys when it comes to traveling i would definitely have to say that sakopana in poland is a must you get such beautiful sights you get forest you get mountain you get lakes and although i still have to make a trip to switzerland the biggest difference that I have been told and that I have discussed with other travelers is that Sakopana is about one third of the cost of Switzerland. There are definitely differences in color, there are differences in the shades of the mountains, the terrain is of course definitely different it cannot be the same seeing as it's in a different geographical area but overall you can get an experience of being in the mountains in europe being around the snow and as you can see in a lot of the scenes you get to see a lot of cloud because of the high elevation so one thing that you do have to keep in mind is that you are likely going to have to walk a lot unless you are willing to pay for one of these people to take you on a horse carriage. And in that event, you will not have to walk nearly as much. But for example, in this footage right now, which is the path that leads to Morskioko, which is the lake. So you are going to be going uphill. However, it is paved and the terrain is mostly flat. You do have the option to go up some stairs or up some hills to, as a shortcut but that is your choice and as the person i traveled with did we went up the stairs but we did not go back down the stairs because there is a risk factor in terms of the slippery rocks going back on the way down so overall it is worth it although it can be a lot of walking and of course we are approaching october now so the weather may vary a lot you could have some days where it's unbearably cold and you do have to plan for that bring adequate clothing of course have water ready but in many of these places you're going to have restaurants you're going to have places where you can purchase drinks there are going to be public bathrooms you still have your necessities and amenities or whatever you want to call them available but as i'm saying it is totally worth it it is a trip that you must make especially if you're traveling through poland poland of course is very affordable to travel through uh, you get a lot of great deals in comparison to countries to the west of Europe or even in the Scandinavian countries. I'm in Sakopana. This is the mountain range in the south of Poland and this is bordering Slovakia. So this is where we're staying at. This is the view on the Nosal Trail in Sakopana. Look at that view. So yeah, I'm gonna I wanna figure out how to get all the way up there. I don't know if we can go up there. 
that's what I'm that's what I'm curious about under the sun oh, yeah. and you never want to go obviously when it's too rainy because you know you can't even enjoy and I'm so fucking sweaty under this please um it's soaking wet look how far we made it I don't know what's up there, but it looks interesting. All right, this hike has this hike has been pretty I wouldn't call it tough, but it's definitely we've definitely it's definitely a good workout. So I'm already we're in the middle of a forest in September in Europe and look at me, I'm already I'm already like stripped down to this point. I think no one lives in those. Probably like just like a storm or something, people can take cover. Oh, look at that. How do you get wet? How, how do you get wet so wet here so fast? Or is it just from the rain? Or has it been? It has been raining, that's why it got this wet. I don't know. I'm looking forward to see like stuff. So they make these just for hikers, yeah. or people who make it for the bike. Yeah. Pretty badass. Yeah. Dude, if I was any taller, I would have ran into this big block of wood. No, I would have seen it probably, but this barely like hit my head. I didn't hit it, but. Look at that. Whew. What a view. Wow. This looks like the, the center or something. Imagine living in those in one of those houses out there. I'm pretty sure people are looking at us. Somebody can see us maybe. So we're that high up. Like is it because of that we're we're that high up that's why like I guess do we have clouds? clouds. Yeah. Those are clouds? Damn. Has to be. That's that's badass. Yeah, they those are clouds. This is Kiri, which is another trail on the west end of Sakopana. As you can tell in the video that I took, the land is very flat. So there is virtually no hiking to do here. But the walk is very long. And if you decide to do the entire trail, you may be in for a walk that will last over three hours round trip maybe even longer
I didn't get to see anything like this on the other hikes, like on the other trails. Oh, I thought this was a sheep. This is a dog. <laughs> it was just lying there. It blends in because of the color. Yeah, but you know these kind of dogs are responsible for the <laughs> all the <laughs> stock, so. <laughs> oh yeah? This one is really not really good at his job. <laughs> oh, it's just lying down. That's nice. <laughs> But what do those dogs do? They they protect? Yeah. They protect these? What do they protect them from? Uh, wild, wildlife? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. They keep it as a pack as well. Yeah. So that was pretty much it from everything I saw in Sakopana. So those were three trails that I went on. And I can guarantee you guys that I did not get to do or see maybe even half. And for some of the crazier guys that have seen everything down there, or should we call them persistent, some of those guys will probably notice that I probably didn't even see a quarter of everything you could see down there. Because there is so much to see down there when it comes to the nature, the multiple trails, the mountains, the rivers, the waterfalls. It's amazing. You guys got to check it out. All right. Give me a like and subscribe, guys. Take care.